Like, I, I never got paid from the label. At all? At all. It's like people that was on my songs that ain't even as big an artist as me that got something from the label. So I never got anything from the label, right? I even had to pay out my contract, right? Pay them to just let clear me from this thing totally. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. Tell me about a time um, in the music industry that you've dealt with, because there's so many times people deal with, and not even on the music industry this happened, it, I would say any time you're dealing with money and entertainment industry, I would say, um, where you did deals, because I was on Instagram the other day and I was watching some comedians talk about going to perform different places and you know they get half of their money up front but when you get there they don't want to get paid the other half and stuff like that i'm sure a lot of that happened in the music industry as well where you know sometimes they pay you half or sometimes they don't even pay you at all when you did right. all your work and you're supposed to get you just do mm -hmm. how many times has that happened to you and then how do you deal with it well this it's happened to me a few times like i i never got paid from the label at all? At all. It's like people that was on my songs that ain't even as big an artist as me that got something from the label. So I never got anything from the label, right? I even had to pay out my contract, right? Pay them to just let clear me from this thing totally. But if you're not getting paid, wouldn't that break be a breach of your contract where you can walk away I'm anyway? still to this day lawyer team trying to get the best source to get back what's mine wow so the masters and all that stuff i mean the label was basically crumbled the albums were sold to off to some other you know what i'm saying industry so, explain yeah. me south circle the makeup of, of south circle it was an artist that was at suave house already when i came i was so hungry and so extreme they had to rise me up to the because it was a roster yeah. So, of course, when the new come in, he had the bottom of the roster. I was too hungry for that. Here comes the bomb. It's a new day. So sway your ass and blast with that man back in AK. So in order to move me up the roster, they said, well, let's just join him with a guy that's already in the roster. Yeah, so South Circle is uh, 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 that. So as they put this group together, I see they collabed it, and I guess their plot was to uh, collab it with MJG and Eight Ball. One, two, three, Mr. B.I.G. Pull a rhyme out of my mind and shoot it like a Glock nine seventeen times. Like Rakim, I ain't no joke. You know, when you guys did collab, we didn't really know what it was really going turned out to be until we did it and start seeing the effects of it. Now, I'm creeping around the back way, peeping the scenery, because these niggas can't be seeing me. But anywhere you go, so it's just the fact of, uh, you know, I just love the music. She don't really know the music like me, but I love the music. I love the history of it. So when I look at, you know, South Circle and I look at Mr. Mike, I look at uh, Eight Ball, I look at the down, you know, just the down south movement. You remember when the down south, them tapes was out. You know what I mean? You all this stuff, man. When we didn't, I was locked on to the south when was in the west coast was doing their thing at the time. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So I still remain loyal to what we had going. You know what I'm saying? Whether whether it was Ghetto Boys, even though the Ghetto Boys seemed kind of more, you know, universal, whatever you want to call it. Uh, but eight ball, it, it was just eight ball MJG, South Circle, uh, Mr. Mike, uh, you, Mr. Mike, but then the other big Mike, mm -hmm. you know, all of these different uh, scenarios was something that I valued. And I'm going to be honest with you, that's a whole legacy and a legend that don't get talked about enough for me. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101.